Hi folks, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to play the game Othello. This game has been around for a very long time. Um, it's a game that's really easy to learn, but it's a game that's also hard to master. Uh, there's some, a lot of strategy involved in this game, but again, it's really easy to learn. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. Um, you're going to have one side that's white and one side that's black. Whichever color you are, you want to have the most color of your chips on this board by the time the game ends. You're going to be placing all these chips on the board. And what's going to happen is you're going to pick up a chip and you're going to place it somewhere on the board. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to turn over your opponent's tiles to your color. So let's say I place a chip here. The way this works is like any chip that is on the end of a chip of your opponent will basically change the uh, color of the chip. So I have a chip here of my color, a chip here of my color. This gets turned over to white, which is my color. Now my opponent's going to go, and he's going to try to see if he can find a place to put his chip to turn over the white ones. Um, here's a good spot right here. Uh, there's a black one here, a black one here. So this one's going to get turned over, like so. So it goes back to white. Uh, white's going to look around, and he says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and play right here. And he's going to turn over this chip. So black goes. Black looks around, and he's thinking, hmm, what can I do, what can I do? And uh, he doesn't really have too many moves he can do, but he actually has a pretty good one. He can go here. Now what's going to happen is he has a black one here, a black one here, and a black one here. And since there's a white one in between both of them, both of these chips are going to end up getting turned over like so. So right now black is ahead. So now it's white's turn. What can white do? White can... Let's see here. Uh, well, not any, any big moves that white can do, but white can... Let's just put white here for now and put him here. All right, so now white has a possibility if black misses it to put a chip here and turn over these two in case black misses it. But in case black doesn't miss it, um, let's just say black sees it, he puts a chip here and covers this up. Now this is gonna prevent white from turning over those two. Because this is part of what the strategy is about, is trying to figure out what your opponent's gonna do next. Okay, so now white's up again. Uh, white decides to play... Uh, let's put white here, and he turns over this chip. So now black goes, and this is kind of basically how the whole game works. It just works like this. Uh, black goes here, and black's going to turn over this one, and he's going to turn over this one as well. So white goes ahead and goes, and let's say white decides to play here. White will turn over this one, and this one. And I'll do one more move for black. Uh, black has a couple of moves he can do. He can play here or here, um, and both will turn over three chips. So um, I'll go ahead and play here and turn over these three. One, two, and three. So basically this is kind of how the game works. You're just going to keep on playing, and, um, and at the end of the game all these chips are going to be on here, and the winner is going to be the one that has the most color of their chips on the board. So let's say white has 30 chips and black has, say, 20 chips. White will end up winning. So anyway, that's kind of how the game works. Enjoy.